Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Topps Stadium Club Baseball. All 16 boxes, all card ship. This is pick your team number one. We did that randomizer in a separate video if you're looking for that. Two autographs, a box it looks like. And uh, usually some excellent photography. So let's, let's get on with it. Let's do it. Settle in everybody. It should be a longer break here. We'll do a recap at the end as well. So here on a Wednesday, November 6th, pick your team number one. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. So if you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team. David won a team. Jonathan got last spot mojo. Jeremy and Daniel with extra teams as well. Thanks, everybody. Now let's open up this case here. All right, two autos in every box. Got Corey Seager on the cover right here. What else, what else are we looking for here? 16 packs per box. Good luck, everybody. We have a longer shaped box than what I remember from Stadium Club. Got the sounds of uh, NBA action on the background. Warriors are in Boston. Uh, what is uh, what is everyone seeing in this? Uh, has anyone seen anything cool pop from these stadium club breaks? I've been watching any of our our breaks on our other platforms. Jonathan saying one chrome per pack this year as well, nice. Remember all card ships, so you know, in case I miss like a variation or something special or something like that, don't worry. Everything ships, so it'll get to you. <laughs> All right, we're going to lead off with world champion, Annie Pajas, my Dodgers. Where does these couple free agents right here? Where do these guys go? Willie Ademis, Max Freed. There's Vlad, power packed insert, and a Nolan Arenado red. There's the chrome right here as well, Devin Williams. And there's our first autograph, Davis Schneider. For the Blue Jays, that's going to be for Jeremy, that extra team coming in handy. And the Imanaga will go to Jeremy and the uh, the Cubbies. That's Gavin Williams. It's Aaron Judge, Special Forces. Jung Hoo Lee, red for the Giants. That's going to go to Kevin. Shoulder should be healthy for next season. Jackson Churio. Tyler Glass now. Nolan Jones. Heston Kirkstad, red. Let's 
Sport ports Max Freed to the Dodgers. Be a bit of a homecoming for him. And if they end up signing uh, as Ronnie Maurizio Green, not numbered. If they end up uh, re-signing Jack Flaherty, that would be a bit of a high school reunion for those two guys. There's Power Packed rookie Jason Dominguez. There's Yoshinobu Yamamoto for the Dodgers. That's for Tamoya. Love the photography in Stadium Club. There's Tom Glavin. Gold. Kodai Senga for the Mets. Bobby, hopefully Bobby Miller has a bounce back for the Dodgers next year. They would love to see that. There's Chipper Jones to 75. And the next autograph. That's a Lion Richardson for the Red Legs. That's Leonard with Lion. Chipper Jones will go to Rob and the Braves. There's Jackson Churio, power packed. Gunnar Henderson's fired up there. There's world champion Moogie Betts, Special Forces, and Mark McGuire, 46 out of 99, power packed. That's Cardinals, that's going to be for Jonathan. His bets again. Juan Soto, where does Juan Soto go? There's Parker Meadows Blue to 50. That's for Detroit. That's going to be for Michael. Where does Pete Alonso go? A lot of free agents this year. Some kind of name free agents. Nice, we got what some sort of Shohei Otani puzzle piece here? It's gonna be for Tomoya and the Dodgers. All right, that's box one. Break might take a lot longer than I thought. Let me adjust the time on here on the break schedule. This might be a two hour break. Or by the time, I mean, it might be an hour, 40 minute break or whatever. By the time I put everything away and clean up everything, it might end up being a couple hours here. Yeah, I, I, I just read an article saying there's the, the sort of industry insiders suggest that Juan Soto is going to be a Yankee or he's going to be in New York, a Yankee or a Met. I mean, unless, unless the Phillies or, you know, Blue Jays are after Otani, so you know they got some money to spend, so unless there's like a team outside of New York that blows uh, any New York offer out of the water, I think he's gonna be staying in New York. People seem to suggest that he also prefers staying on the East Coast. Yesterday, I think uh, Otani signed early December. So I wonder if, uh, if Soto signs before Christmas. I'm sure they probably would like to get it done before Christmas. A lot of Boris Scott Boris clients uh, 
signed kind of late. They kind of were holding out for longer deals, didn't quite pan out. So I could see uh, I could see Scott Boris trying to get the big deals done early and often. We got a uh, Prelander Baroa rookie autograph for Seattle. That's going to be for Steve Kelly and the Seattle Mariners. This is Jung Hoo Lee Stadium Club Chrome. I think he was a little hobby hot before uh, that shoulder injury knocked him out for the season. Zach Gallen. We got a uh, P. Crow Armstrong die cut. And that's a uh, Gray Kessinger. Rookie auto for the Astros. Aaron with the Strohs. That's a cool shot right there, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Love the photography here. Power pack Mookie Betts. Green Rod Carew to 199. We got our two autos, so let's see if we can find uh, some nice numbered cards here. Johnny Bench, these, I guess these greens are not numbered. Reds aren't numbered. Everson Pereira, these ones aren't numbered either. I guess Pete Alonso, I just thought Pete Alonso would be a Met for a really long time, but it just seems like they're not really interested in getting a deal done with Pete Alonso, at least a, not a long-term deal. That's a Otani. Got Tom Seavers to 30. Here's a Kershaw die cut. The original Tom Terrific going to Michael and the Mets. All right, another box. Let's see, what's, uh, what's the latest news here? The Cardinals are moving Wilson Contreras to first base. Contreras unlikely to waive a no trade clause. So he's gonna be in year three of that five year deal he signed. So Jesse Rogers of ESPN saying he's gonna be moved to first. I guess Goldschmidt, uh, his contract ran out. He's already, Goldschmidt's already like in his late, in late 30s I think, he's like 36, 37. But yeah, so with Goldschmidt out, Wilson Contreras is going to move to first. Apparently, according to Jesse Rogers of ESPN, that's what President of Baseball Operations told uh, reporters at the GM meeting. You know, and then it's just for his long-term health. He's getting a little bit older, so they want to want to protect his long-term health and unlikely to catch much at all in 2025. Something to keep in mind for your fantasy baseball teams. Contreras was also quite clear about his desire to remain in St. Louis, even as the team embarks on something of a reset. Apparently Sonny Gray is also willing to hang around for the reset. So apparently this opens up the path for Ivan Herrera and Pedro Pajas to split time behind the plate.
right, next box. We'll go through some some other bit of news here. In the, while we're ripping open the next box, away we go. Kyle Tucker, Castillo. There's our first Ellie Dela Cruz, unless I missed one, but all card chip. And there's Yoendris Gomez, rookie auto for the Yankees. That's going to be for Matt Smith. Our Stadium Club Chrome rookie, Ellie Dela Cruz, will go to the red. That's for Leonard. Bobby Witt Jr. There's Otani. We got Manny Machado. More Otani. And look at that. A Honus Wagner. There's the number right there. That's a super fractor. That's a one of one. David Lewis got the Pirates straight up. And gets the Honus Wagner. Super. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's really cool. I'm gonna put that in the bottom for the recap. Nice. So that, this, these are the surprises we can get out of Stadium Club, folks. Uh, Jeremy, no. No Cubs. I think we had a... Imanaga rookie card, just a base rookie card, but that was about it. And a rookie auto for the Pirates. You got the super, David, and you got the former number one overall pick, Henry Davis, rookie autograph. Nice box for the Pirates. And we got a... Regular base, non-chrome, Ellie Dela Cruz for the Reds. That'll be for Leonard. And we're just talking about Sonny Gray. There he is right there. We've seen a uh, a Skeens card yet. All right. Oh, and Jonathan saying these Chrome models are pretty rare too. Nice. All right. Next box. Uh, more more news. Apparently the Astros have internally discussed a Ryan Presley trade. Maybe clear some payroll space, but he's the reliever has full no trade rights. I think he's got he's got ten and five, I think. Ten years. And then five seasons with the same team. I'm trying to sign Alex Bregman. Mookie Betts likely moving back to the infield. Interesting. Dodgers general manager Brandon Gomes spoke to members of the media at the general manager's meeting, including Joel Sherman of the New York Post and Bob Nightingale. Gomes relayed that the Dodgers are probably going to have Mookie Betts move back to the infield, either at shortstop or second base. So Gavin Lux, so what happens to Gavin Lux? Dodgers gave Betts brief looks at the second. 
you know, in recent years. The club was evidently pleased with that second base experiment. Now it seems that Betts will get another shot in the infield, which will immediately lead to speculation about the club's offseason pursuits. I don't know. I don't think they're really in on Juan Soto, but I think they're probably looking at bringing back your uh, Teoscar Hernandez, and then maybe look at other guys: Anthony Santander, Yerkson Profar, Tyler Neal, Michael Conforto. Yeah, I don't think Miguel Rojas is an everyday shortstop. Tommy Edmond can bounce between short and center field. So that leaves those corner outfield positions there. Maybe they're going to try to give some of the youngsters a shot. Maybe try James Altman again, Andy Pajes maybe. The big Dodger catching prospect, Dalton Rushing, has been kind of moved into more of an outfield role. So we'll see. Ooh, Jeremy, I would love to pull an Imanaga autograph for you. We got many boxes to go and a lot, a lot of time in this break to go. So let's stay patient here. There's David Wright. Nice. That's going to be for Michael and the Metropolitans. Twenty-five out of fifty. David Wright. He's a local guy here. Pops into the shop every once in a while. Aaron Judge, 31 out of 50. Special Forces insert. Yeah, that does kind of feel like Dunzo for Gavin Lux, right? I wonder if there's a trade in the works. Or maybe he's just backup role. Blue Carry Carpenter to 50. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, Chrome. And a Jackson Holiday Red. Nice. That'll be for David M. and the O's. Because I don't think they're going to put Gavin at, sh at shortstop. Maybe, he, maybe he's working on an outfield position, but... Gavin Lux struggled a bit. Struggled a lot, actually, for the first half of the season through the uh, All-Star break and then bounced back a bit and was, you know, was serviceable. But, uh, oh, you know what? Satchel Page. The St. Louis Brown turned to the Orioles. Yeah, so all the uh, all the satchel pages will go to the O's. And there's a Jose Tena rookie autograph for the Guardians. That's going to go to David. Dominguez red. Nick Lofton to 99. What's Michael Harris doing here? He's doing some angels in the outfield kind of look. And some karate kid vibes there. Nick Lofton's going to go to Jeff and the Royals. The red rookie Jason Dominguez will go to Matt and the Yankees. Ellie Dela Cruz, Jordan. Aaron Nola with the headset. Buster Posey. Is that a variation? It was flipped around. Maybe it is. Red Junior Caminero.
Caminero will go to the Rays. That's for Jonathan. The possible variation, Buster Posey will go to Kevin and the Giants. And there's a base, Ellie Dela Cruz. All right, another box. Yeah, I think this looks like a two hour break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad I had a little snack before I started this. So well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the Dodgers are gonna do. I don't. I don't think they intend to uh, stand pat. I don't think they're in on any of the big free agents, the free agent hitters anyway. I think they want to retain Teoscar Hernandez, and then I feel like the rest of their maybe a couple outfield spots may be in question. But I don't know if there's any free agent options that are that are going to be significantly better than. Their current options, kind of in-house options, and they got to make room for some of the youngsters coming up the ranks. So maybe I don't think they'll address that until, until maybe halfway through the season at, by the trade deadline. Pitching, I think they're I think they're going to add pitching. I don't think they're going to be shy about about that, especially with all their pitching troubles they've had in recent years. I don't think they can count on uh, count on the on the bullpen being as brilliant as it was late in the season. Maybe they're probably hoping Teoscar Hernandez three four year deal. Maybe. Might get Jack Flaherty on a one or two year deal. Maybe Walker Buehler on a one or two year deal. Man, I think that's kind of what they're hoping. They'll probably re-sign Kershaw for another year or two. And I think they need maybe some more, some more rely. I mean, Bobby Miller. Who knows what's going to happen with him next year? I think they're trying to figure out maybe get a more. A lot of guys coming off of injuries too, so we don't know how they're gonna play out. Maybe the Dodgers will look for some uh, some more solid pitching. I could also see them doing a deal. I think Shane Bieber is a uh, is a free agent, and I don't think he's gonna play next year because of uh, the arm injury. But I could totally see the Dodgers doing something like signing for a two-year deal, right? We'll just kind of sit there injured on the injured list for uh, for 2025, and then they'll see if they can they can get him in uh, 2026. The Jason Dominguez die cut. That's from Matt Smith and the Yankees. Bobby Wood Jr. I think we've seen an autograph. Oh, there we go. Jay Buhner. Remember Jay Buhner? Mariners. That's going to be Steve Kelly. And there's Emmett Sheehan, 19 out of 25. We'll probably see Emmett Sheehan get some opportunities next year.
Alright, another box. What else is going on in baseball? Guardians re-sign Austin Hedges to a one-year deal. According to MLB trade rumors, Hedges 32 has carved out a decade-long career in a unique way as he's one of the worst performers at the plate, but one of the best behind it. So whatever you're losing offensively from, uh, from Austin Hedges, you're gaining in 91 defensive runs scored or saved over the past decade. The top mark for any backstop in the league in that time frame. But they got him back on a little deal, so that's good. I wonder if the Guardians will be in on a little starting pitching. It'd be cool to see the Guardians kind of get involved with some of the, uh, you know, Kind of add to their team, refresh, add some offense, add some starting pitching, go from there. That's the kind of team they don't really need too much at the moment to, to maybe take it to the next level. Next box. Luis Arise. And there's Brian Wilson. For the Giants. Kevin with my rivals. Shaking up the front office. I think Buster Posey was saying they want to go for a, looking for a shortstop. Willie Ademis could be a good addition to them. And I think Willie Ademis himself was saying that he'd be open to maybe making a positional change as well, just to open up that, open up the market for him. I think that's our first Paul Skeens. Unless I unless I missed a Paul Skeen's base card, that'll be for David Lewis and the Pirates. Maybe a, a Chrome scheme Skeen's would be cool. Maybe a numbered Skeen's. There's another one. And there's David Hamilton, rookie auto for the Boston Red Sox. That's for Jonathan Kent. Hey, there's Braden. Yeah. Yeah, a break like this I always do, unless I forget, but I always try to remember to do a, a recap on any break that's like 45 minutes or longer. So if you want to rewatch this video later on, you can fast forward right to the end. And this break is going to be way longer than 45 minutes, so Jackson Churio Special Forces insert. Mm. 
And remember, all cards will ship, so if you see me miss a card, I mean, I'm trying to thread the needle between uh, being fast in the break, but yet not going too fast. Yeah, I mean, we've got like another, another, and by the time I'm done with these two boxes, it'll be maybe 45 minutes or so, 50 minute mark, and then it'll be another 45, 50 minutes after that for the second half. Unless I start slowing down, run out of steam. see some more news on MLBTradeRumors.com. Yeah, Willie Ademis reportedly willing to move off his shortstop. Ademis wants to stay at short, but on the Baseball Tonight podcast, Jorge Castillo of ESPN says the Mets have considered signing Ademis and moving him to third, while others have considered second base. Ademis probably doesn't need to make the shift based on his abilities, though he's coming off a bit of a down year in terms of his glove work. Credited with 10 errors in 2024, more than the seven he had in the previous two seasons combined. Other metrics have him improving on defense, so. Maybe people will see him as a, uh, see that last year as a bit of a down year defensively, and he'll bounce back an outlier. So yeah, Mets could be in on Willie Ademis. They could move, I mean, obviously Lindor is at short, but they could move him to second base. You know, move Jeff McNeil elsewhere. Maybe third base, have Jeff McNeil stay at second. I think Mark Vientos was at third, but not, a, not as good with the glove. So they could move him to first. If uh, Pete Alonzo doesn't end up hanging around. That guy's still out there too, Juan Soto. And there's Wade Meckler. Rookie autograph for the Giants. That's going to go to Kevin, Kevin T. Where I mean, I, I thought Pete Alonzo would be a, a Met for life. I feel like he's well liked, fan favorite, hits a lot of homers. Jackson Merrill for the Padres. That'll be Jeremy Port. Got a Jackson Holiday Special Forces. There's Wilson Contreras. They're going to move him to first next year. Pretty much permanently. And there's uh, Abner Uribe. Rookie auto for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for Tomoya. Get all those ja Jackson uh, Churios as well. Basey Managa, rookie card. Same with the uh, Jason Dominguez. It's going to be for the Yankees. So, Tatum's third technical 
Got an Ellie Della Cruz, Virtuosos of Velocity. It's a fun insert there. He's got that exit velo for sure. Machado die cut. And the base Caminero will be for Jonathan B. And the Rays. Angels and Kyle Hendricks uh, agree to a one-year deal, $2.5 million. That's a little minor move. Hendricks is definitely on the other side of his prime. But, I mean, he should be able to, to gobble up some innings for the Angels if he stays healthy. Adds, adds some depth to that rotation. Uh, Padres announcing a, a two-year uh, extension for uh, coach for manager Mike Schilt. Had a pretty nice season. Ooh, Jonathan putting in, uh, putting out there. Fred Lynn, Luis Tian, RIP, or a big poppy autograph. That'd be nice. Dave Roberts is next year would be the last year of his contract. I'm sure they'll get an extension done with Dave. All right, another box. Away we go. Seems to be a bit of a back and forth game between the Warriors and the. Uh, Nice, rookie auto, Evan Carr, Warriors and Celtics. Who's got uh, Daniel with the Rangers? I think the Rangers were a late pickup too. Nobody wanted him until the very end. Evan Carter, rookie auto. Wonder if the Rangers will make, Rangers aren't shy about spending money. Rangers missed the playoffs last year, they can't be happy about that following a World Series victory, so they got to be active in the in the market. They're going to be looking for things everyone else is looking for, pitching, hitting. They got to thread the knee a little bit too. They 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 don't want to block any youngsters from developing, but they got to add they got to add stuff. Right, did you have you gotten that yet, Jonathan? The dual bat barrel auto, Rice and Boggs. Congrats, man. What a hit. And another Jose Tena autograph. Um, I noticed that there was a Josh Gibson card in here, and we're gonna we're gonna have all the uh, collect all the Negro League teams together, except for the Satchel Page, and we'll send all that as one lot to one person in the break. Joe Musgrove with the uh, first day issue foil on here. That's pretty cool. There's an Evan Carter. 
don't know if that's anything super special, but... Oh, you got it already. Nice. Good. Good job, Tops. Getting those redemptions back to you quickly. I mean, that's got to be a be a keeper, right, Jonathan? You're going to... That's going to stay in the PC for a long time, I would imagine. A chrome Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. That'll be for Matt. All right, we're officially halfway through the break. We're at 46 minutes on the recording, so probably another 45, 50 Probably another hour to go on this, basically. Oh, the first day issue is very rare. Nice. So, Jeremy Port and the Padres. Nice. That's a cool. That's a cool card. From San Diego and delivered the Padres' first uh, no hitter. Grew up a Padres fan. Nice keeper for life. Wait, what product was that from? I, I remember the card. So I don't remember what the what product that popped out of. Apparently the Blue Jays general manager said, hey, listen, there's going to be no Bo Bichette trade. There's going to be no Vlad Guerrero Jr. trade. They're looking to add, not, not subtract or rebuild. Yeah, I think both of those guys, maybe Vlad Jr. maybe turned, turned this, his season around after a slow start, but... Bichette should have a bounce back season. Museum collection, nice. Congrats again. That museum collection is really nice too. I mean, I feel like everyone's gonna think everyone's gonna think uh, New York team for Juan Soto, but I wonder if the Blue Jays could try to muscle their way in. You know, I think they were close to, I don't know, I don't know exactly how close, but I think they were definitely in on the Otani sweepstakes. So you know they have money to spend. All right, another box. And here's a members only, Teoscar Hernandez. I don't know, how rare are these? That's uh, for Tamoya. Teoscar has a ring. That's exactly why he, he said himself he turned down years and money to, to be with the Dodgers. And he'd love to stay. Obviously, the Dodgers would love him to stay, but I'm sure his, his agent wants to get the best deal possible, which is fair. We got Jose Soriano. Angels Auto going to David. David D. Good job, you're going to go. Follow the screen last minute. Defender B, please 
All right, there's a rookie Imanaga. And Ellie Dela Cruz for Leonard and the Reds. Haven't seen anything kind of low numbered or anything numbered or anything like that, but we've got a lot of boxes to go. Should have one more auto in here somewhere. And it's another angel. It's Kieran Paris. Personal box for David. Some decent penmanship from the uh, from the youngster here. You don't always get that kind of kind of quality from the kids these days. Got an Ellie Dela Cruz Special Forces rookie card and a Beam Team Bobby Wood Jr. I don't think these are too common. Royals Jeff Walker with Kansas City. Another box. All right. Another box onwards. Nice. Jonathan mentioning that members only also quite rare. Uh, Braves are interested in Nathan Eovaldi, according to Mark Bowman of MLB.com. He declined the player option with the Rangers, but he's going to go on the open market. He declined a, a $20 million player option. MLB trade rumors thinking maybe a two-year, $44 million deal, something like that. They're going to lose, uh, they lost Max Fried and Charlie Morton to free agency, the Braves. And I don't think, they, they said they don't, they don't want to get into a bidding war with Max Fried. And I'm sure certainly he will get a hefty contract. So they've got Chris Sale, Ronaldo Lopez, Spencer Schwellenbach, and then who knows after that. Maybe Spencer Strider, but he's going to miss part of the season. Griffin Canning came in the Jorge Soler deal, but... Canning had a rough year last year. Ian Anderson was once a big prospect, but hasn't pitched in the majors since 2022 due to poor performance and a Tommy John surgery. We've got youngsters like Oscar Yanoa, AJ Smith Shaver, Person Waldrop, Bryce Elder. But I don't think anyone, any, no one really kind of became a clear cut starter after last year. So who knows what the Braves will do? They want to retool. All right. I'm trying to stay healthy too, Braves. Here's a Stadium Club Chrome, Gavin Williams. Rookie auto for the Guardians, D. Munn. Cleveland, this is for you. Spencer Strider, we're just talking about him. Yamamoto rookie card. All right, we got a Stadium Club Chrome Jackson Holiday. That'll be for David uh, Malel and the Orioles, different David M. Paul Skeen's rookie card. We haven't seen anything other than this rookie card. David Lewis with the Pirates. Uh, got a lot of boxes to go. All 
Oh, there we go. Stadium Club Chrome, Paul Skeens. And Darius Vines, 99. And a Orion uh, Kerkerink. Rookie auto for the Phillies. Scott Anderson with the Fightin' Phils. Yeah, I feel like this guy, people seem to like Orion. Nice rookie auto. Nice, thanks, Jonathan. Jonathan's given us the odds on first that first day is one out of every 588 packs, and members only also one out of every 256. So yeah, they're, they're pretty rare. Let's go to Rob and the Braves, and the Chrome Skeens, David and the Pirates. There's also photographer's proof. That's one out of every 512. There's a Churio for Tomoya. And a red skeins, nice. All right, so maybe we're getting warmer to a numbered card. That's gonna be David. David Lewis with the Pirates. Got the Pirates straight up. All right, another box. Super Fractors. That, like that Honus Wagner, they pulled one out of every 5,880 packs. Wow. So MLBTradeRumors.com, one of my favorite websites, especially in the off season, does a, uh, you know, gives them, you know, for, for for mostly for fun, top 50 MLB free agents with predictions. Obviously, I don't know how close they've gotten. I think if you get like a third of them right, I think that's a pretty decent success rate. So obviously, Juan Soto is their. Uh, is the top free agent. 13 years, $600 million is their prediction. Wow. Some of their riders thinking either Yankees or Mets. Two riders saying Yankees, two others saying Mets. I mean, basically, I mean, all Scott Boris has to do is be like, all right, submit some offers. Let's see what the let's see what people are willing to pay, and then let's negotiate off each other and see how high the bidding can go, and then that's that. The second biggest, uh, second on the free agent list for MLBTradeRumors.com, Corbin Burns, seven years, two hundred million dollars. Riders are thinking Red Sox. Two riders say Mets. No, it's two riders say Red Sox. Two riders say Mets. It'll be interesting. I think maybe the Orioles would want to hold on to him. I mean, maybe he will go back to them. I want, I'd love to see the Orioles kind of get a, you know, put some money out there. They've paid guys before, so it's definitely possible. All right, here's the Stadium Club Chrome Jackson Merrill for the Padres. That's for Jeremy Port and the Pods.
There he is, Corbin Burns right there. And maybe the Dodgers will take a run. I'm sure the Dodgers will at least make a phone call to every one of these free agents and see, see what they can do. A couple Ellie Della Cruises. Jimmy, what's going on, man? He said, yeah, let's let's not let those free spots go to waste in the hit parade filler. I agree. I was actually supposed to put those spots back in last night. I forgot. So take advantage of my error, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not going to forget tonight. up on these supplies here. Jonathan was also saying Bean Team is one out of every 256. So nice. We, we saw some nice uh, rare cards out of the stadium club. All right, second half of the box here. We haven't seen our autos yet. They should be here. There's Yamamoto. And there's Connor Phillips for the Red Legs. That'll be for Leonard. Kershaw opted out, but I feel like he'll he'll be back on some sort of incentive laden deal. I don't think he's going anywhere. And there's Tyler Fitzgerald for the Giants. That's gonna be for Kevin. What? I also had a package from us get returned to sender. That's right. Did you let our team know? Hit the support button. Let them know that something's coming back. I mean, we've been sending stuff to you for years. I feel like that's never happened, right? Here's a Chrome Imanaga. For Jeremy H. and the Cubs. Another box. I guess we're also quickly approaching. Yeah, I wonder if. I wonder what the reason was. I wonder if we. I wonder if we put like a signature required? But I don't think I don't think we do that too often. I might be I mean I don't know I don't know exactly what happened but you know with my knowledge of the shipping world I feel like it's either It would be the same address we usually send it to, so there wouldn't be an issue there. And if it's returned, send it, they must have attempted delivery. So maybe we had some sort of signature type requirement on it, and no one was home, so that maybe that's why they, they did that. That's the only reason I could think of, but maybe there's some others that our shipping team would know. Uh, 
All right. Another box. This break actually doesn't, I mean, this is going to be a very long break. It doesn't feel that long. So I feel like there's, I think the two autos a box helps. There's uh, something to look forward to in each box. I think all the cards, I, I love this. All the cards are for the most part right side up. So I'm not flipping cards around. Here's a uh, pre-lander Baroa for Seattle. That's going to be for Steve. Ah, that could be a possibility too. Yeah, if for some reason the label got damaged, you know, and they couldn't see your address, then yeah, that's that's a good possibility that they might have sent it back to the sender. And there is a red Chrome Auto Andrew Abbott. 38 out of 50. Nice. Little color match for Leonard and the Red Legs. And there's a Chrome Caminero for the Rays. Going to be for Jonathan. Jay Dominguez for Matt and the uh, Yankees. Stan the man. 55 out of 75, a lot of bats. A lot of bats here. Are these silver sluggers maybe? Oh, it's the Hooli from the hit packs. Sorry about that, man. Now you gotta wait longer for that. Boo. Come on, post service. Oh, I guess since we're six days into November, it's a good, uh, good reminder to everybody. Obviously, as we get closer and closer to the holidays, this is some, a reminder we have to make to everybody. The Postal Service is getting busier and busier by the day, by the week. Um, even if we send things out at the right time, you know, um, there still may be some delays here. Oh, there was a Goldman. Where was that black and white Carrie Carpenter? How long ago was that, MPEG? If you're lagging behind a little bit, we, we might have been way past that. God, that minted gold is one out of 256? You're pulling a lot of rare stuff here. What's up, Rex? Oh, in the last box? Check out Mahomes, Grandma, and the team. Make the live home 16 
Oh, I do see it. There you go. There's your there's your Kerry Carpenter, black and white. I got you, MPEG. Has anyone ever found out if Annie was okay? Was she okay? Is Annie okay? I think she's fine. I think she's all right. Carlos Correa, purple chrome to 75. That will be for the Twins. And that is for David in Minnesota. So is this the same as the the Bobby card? Maybe. Jonathan with the Red Sox. And there's Johan Duran. Twins. That's going to be for David. An extra team that he won for getting a team. That Otani die cut, 72 out of 99, number. And another base skeins. I did not see that. Tops announced Imanaga signed his Chrome Update patch card in Kanji. Nice. And there's Ozelvis Basabe for the Rays. Jonathan B with the Rays, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, hits all the time. So there are our two autos from this box. And Kevin Gossman is to 50. That's for the Blue Jays, that's for Jeremy. The two golds, yeah, look like they have foil on them, right? So maybe these are more common than we thought. Maybe that's not the gold minted one you were talking about earlier. Thank you. 
Uh, we'll say chrome on the front. Yeah, these don't say chrome on there. Maybe we'll find one though. Yeah, I wonder how he signed it. Maybe he didn't sign it like that, otherwise they would probably put that out on social media for Yamamoto, world champion, you know? Not just Imanaga, not world champion. No, it's all good, Jonathan. All good. Appreciate your help with the with with the break. There's Ronnie Maurizio. Rookie autograph for Michael and the Mets. What are the Mets gonna do in the offseason? They got deep pockets. They got some question marks they need to need to answer. Here's a basey Monaga speaking of. Base Jackson Holiday. And a Bo Jackson. Three out of ten. Bo Jackson autograph. This guy knows. Bo knows. Jeff Walker. Jeff Walker knows Bo. That's awesome. Chrome Yamamoto. Yeah, unless top social people are Cubs fans, they don't carry on. I, mean, I think, I actually think uh, Topps offices are in New York, so it's more likely that they're Mets, Yankees fans, and the Dodgers just beat them, so maybe they're not interested in putting too much out there for, for the Dodgers. Unless they really had to. <laughs> Chip off the old block, 95 out of 99. Look how young he looks there. Chipper Jones for Rob and the Braves. Base Jackson Merrill. Yeah, where does Juan Soto end up? I think all all this. I mean, I mean you can't really believe anything in the off season. You know, I think you have uh, you have owners and agents and front offices all trying to trying to put up smoke and mirrors around there, so n nobody gets leverage on 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 somebody. And there's always someone trying to leak something. So they can leverage something somewhere in the offseason. It's all it's all a chess match. But it seems like, for now anyway, that people are predicting that he's gonna stay in New York. I would think most likely the Yankees, but Mets have deep pockets. Doesn't look like they're they're gonna pay Pete Alonzo. So I mean they might go after Juan Soto in a and a frontline pitcher.
People are mentioning Philadelphia as maybe a sneaky East Coast team. People are also suggesting that Juan Soto wants to stay on the East Coast, but who knows? I'm sure if the price is right, he'll play anywhere. But I mean, it's got to be, got to be a weird decision, right? It's like where you're going to sign a decade-long contract, you're going to be in this place for a decade, or where do you want to be? You know. Scott Boris definitely doesn't want a repeat of last year, so I'm pretty sure that he'll. Pretty sure that he'll uh, get as much as possible for all of his clients. Jason Dominguez. And there's a Taylor Colway. Padres autograph going to Jeremy Port. So Tani got shoulder on uh, surgery on that non-throwing shoulder, the left shoulder. Expected to be back for spring training. I think that hopefully doesn't mess anything up. Since he hits lefty, that left shoulder is actually his back shoulder. And generally speaking, I'm no doctor obviously, but when those injuries kind of come around, it's so usually the, the, the lead shoulder, the front shoulder, however you hit, if that gets messed up, you know, that's where you lose a bit of a bit of pop. So hopefully it won't be that bad. Be one more auto. And there it is, it's Willier Abreu for the Red Sox. That's gonna be uh, Jonathan Kent and the Red Sox. All right, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, final box, the 16th box, full case break, brand new Stadium Club Baseball just dropped today. This is Pick Your Team 1, almost done. We'll do a little recap as well, do a couple randomizing, or just one randomizer for all the Josh Gibson cards. So thanks, gang, for breaking with me here. Thanks for filling this one up. The next stadium club is down to 10. Um, listen, if we want to get that done, we got to block out. We probably have to fill that up by 9 o'clock Pacific, so within the next two hours if you want to get that done, just because of the length of this break. we got to kind of build some time in the back end, or around there, give or take a little bit. Uh, 
Um, we got more NT Collegiate. That's down to 25. Uh, the next uh, NT Collegiate break is uh, is a half caser, and it's from a fresh case. Five and six from the same case. We also have a couple filler packs where I forgot to add spots back in. We took 10 spots out. We were going to give them away last night. And I said, tonight only. Well, I forgot. So now it's tonight. Tonight only. For real, it's this time. So maybe we can get at least one or two of those done tonight as well. All that's on jaspiescasebreak.com in the football section. We, one of the filler packs is the mosaic pack where we're giving away hip parade spots. And the other one is actually the last filler for select first off the line. Maybe we can finally get that done. All right, last box, good luck. Yeah, let's see if we can get any last box mojo here. Jung Hu Lee for Kevin and the Giants. And we got Orion Kirkering for the Fighting Phils. Scott Anderson with the Phillies. That's our 31st auto, looking for auto 32. Two autos in each box, 16 box case. Where's Paul Goldschmidt gonna end up? He's a free agent. I think he was in the final year of his deal, and I think the uh, the, the Cardinals are going to let him walk. They're moving Wilson Contreras to first. Here's Dylan Cease to 75. And a Jackson Churio autograph. That's the way to end it. Stadium Club Chrome rookie auto for Tamoya and the Milwaukee Brewers. Nice. Last box mojo. Strikes again. The Cease will go to Port and the Padres. That's a great way to end it, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe got a numbered card in here. No, nothing else there, but a nice way to end it with that Jackson Churio autograph. All right, so we're going to do a recap in just a second, but let's do a quick randomizer for all the uh, Josh Gibson cards. So let's flip back over here. Let's gather everybody's names 1 through 30. New dice, new list. Name on top, we'll get all the Josh Gibson cards. Five and a three after eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and once more, eighth and final time. And that'll be for Jonathan, last bot mojo right there. After eight, you'll get all those uh, Josh Gibson cards. I don't think there's anything numbered or anything like that, but we'll also inclu include, if any, I don't think I noticed any more, but any of the other uh, Negro League teams. The Satchel Page, actually, the St. Louis Browns turned into the uh, Orioles, so these are going to go to the O's.
All right, recap time. And uh, wait to the end of the recap. So we got some nice autos here. Bo Jackson, some numbered cards, right? That Otani die cut was to 99. That was numbered. The non-chrome cards are on-card autos. Some Ellie Dela Cruz's, some Jackson Merrill's, Red Skeens. Beam Team, Bobby Wood Jr. There's the uh, members only Teoscar Hernandez. That went to Tamoy and the Dodgers. This is another rare one right here. That's the uh, first day. Yeah, first day issue. And this is what the foil says right there. Evan Carter autograph. Emmett Sheehan. Jay Buhner. David Wright autos. Pretty cool. Red Dominguez. Henry Davis. Some Ellie Dela Cruz's. And. And the Super Fractor. Honus Wagner. Stadium Club Chrome Super Fractor. One of one. You can see the one of one right there above the position. That was awesome. More Stadium Club in the store, boys and girls. Check it out. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.